What's going on, T-Fresh? Welcome back to a new Forza Horizon 5 video. Today we have a very special episode, something I've been wanting to do for a very long time, and that is we're going to be building a sleeper. If you guys don't know what a sleeper is, it's basically a card that doesn't look fast, but it is, in fact, extremely fast, and it, like, surprises people. So, yeah. In the previous episode, we have actually purchased this luxurious villa. And I'm, I'm just, I'm so psyched for this house. We're going to be doing a lot of new cars, builds, and things like that here. This is going to be our first build at this house. This is, of course, a Datsun 510. And I think it's like a rebadged Lada or something. It's like so slow. It's so not intimidating looking at all. But, yeah. So what we're going to do now is uh, we're going to take it for a quick spin in its stock form, stock condition, and see what the car is, uh, quote-unquote, capable of. <laughs> I don't know if it's capable of anything. I think it's super slow. It actually sounds pretty decent. I actually don't know how much horsepower it has, but I think it has around 100 horsepower. We're going to check it out. Dude, the brake squeal. Yeah, this car, my plan is to kind of build it out and have, like, over a thousand horsepower if we can. I don't know if that's possible, but we're going to try. All right, let's see what it's capable of. I don't even know how many gears it has. This thing is dirt slow. Oh, my gosh, man. We're trying to floor it. Let's pass these people. 86 miles an hour. Oh, the handling too. Oh, the handling is uh, not the very best. All right, fine. I'll go this way. Sure. <laughs> not by choice, so, but you guys get the point. Let's actually see how many gears it has. This thing is kind of slow. It handles pretty bad. Fourth gear. Nope, it only has four gears, guys. It actually sounds pretty good. I think we're heading towards our house anyway, which is perfect. Quick rally course here. But anyway, the point is we're going to be doing conversion swaps on this vehicle. Where is my house, bro? I'm getting lost here. Let me double check real quick. Oh, no, we are heading towards our house. Look at that. I, I should not have panicked. Everything's fine. We just did a nice little loop to tube here. But anyway, what I was saying is uh, we're going to be doing conversions on this vehicle. We're going to make this all-wheel drive. We're going to swap a GTR engine in here. I think it's possible because that's a, a Nissan. I believe it's uh, uh, not the same company or maybe the same company. But essentially, you can uh, swap components easily so I think we could do a GTR uh, engine in here yeah let's go ahead and uh, enter the house and we're gonna start this build dude I'm so excited about it like look at this car once you see it, it like you wouldn't be like oh my gosh this is a fast vehicle right all right here she is a boring looking car and also like after we do all of these performance modifications I think we need to make it like look really rusty so we're gonna make this car just look like a, a rust bucket no one's going to suspect that this car has like a, a thousand plus horsepower you know what I mean so it's gonna be great so we're gonna start off with the conversions okay Something we haven't done before. We're gonna do an engine swap and uh, please can we do we have a GTR engine here? All right, so in stock form this car has 96 horsepower. I was correct <laughs> I said around 100 it has 96 horsepower and it has a hundred pound-feet of torque super underpowered and, and it's a lightweight car. It's only like a little over 2,000 pounds. This thing is going to be insane All right, let's see what kind of engines we have available here. We can upgrade here to 321 with this one 212 here 300 here 327 so I thought we would see a GTR engine here for some reason we don't see it this is one of the better 
performance classes right here at this engine. It's a 3.2 liter inline six. And uh, yeah, I think we're gonna go with that just because it's non-turbo. Uh, the other uh, the other ones, I just don't wanna go with lower displacement. Uh, our goal is to have insane amounts of power here. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, purchase this one here for the drivetrain though. Uh, we're gonna convert it to be all wheel drive. Yes, guys, this is gonna be a monster. Uh, aspiration, of course, we're gonna boost it, so don't worry about that. Uh, single turbo, yeah, let's actually see how much that adds. It boosts us up to 399 horsepower, and we haven't even done all of performance modifications, guys. You just wait. I, I think this will be the fastest vehicle that I have in the game. Ooh, body kit. I didn't know that was available. No, this, okay, right here, th I mean, this looks sick, right? Don't get me wrong, but our goal is to have a sleeper car, and I feel like if people see this, they're gonna be like, no, this is not a sleeper, right? People are gonna expect this to be fast, so unfortunately... I'm not gonna go down this route, maybe not yet, uh, but yeah, this is a cool option nonetheless. Alright, so now we can build uh, the engine right here, guys. So, let's see how much extra horsepower we can get. F up to 412 horsepower, we're gonna buy the fuel system as well, boost it up another 19 horsepower, an additional 15 there for the exhaust system. Extra 19 horsepower, camshaft, 81 additional horsepower. We're going to see what this all totals uh, at the end. 32 uh, for the pistons, 21 extra horsepower. Now we can upgrade the turbo on top of that. Additional 100 horsepower. Dude, Um, this is going to be insane. Intercooler, what about intercooler? 34 horsepower, oil cooling, I don't think that, oh, that actually does add horsepower, 10 horsepower there, flywheel doesn't add horsepower, just reduces the weight and the rotational mass, but I think that's it for the performance. Let's go back, we need bigger brakes, and the good thing about these wheels is that nobody will see if we have big brakes or not. Um, we will lower this car. We kind of have to because with that much horsepower, you better have some kind of a race uh, suspension, I'm thinking. Not not a drift. Kind of like this. I actually like this. A dropped vehicle like that. People will think that the suspension is broken, but no. It's a race suspension. Dude, by the time we're done here, why did I buy that one? We need this. By the time we're done here, this is going to be insane. Alright, chassis reinforcements. I think we need that. But a full-on roll cage, I just don't know. It's going to give it away. So, again, we need to make this a sleeper. We can't give away the fact that this car is extremely fast. So, we're not going to do that. And weight reduction. Absolutely, we need to do that. Whew. This car is going to be insane. Drivetrain. Let's see what we can do here. Uh, no more four-speed transmission. I think I'm going to do seven-speed race just because on this gearbox that we use here, uh, we can only have seven gears. So, we're going to go with the race one. Driveline, race, differential, race diff, and... Uh, and uh, we're almost done here, guys. Uh, the wheels, I think um, it's going to come as part of the package here. I think what I'm going to do is... Oh, I can't even space them out. Oh, okay. Well, never mind, man. This is going to be a sleeper nonetheless. Let's go ahead and see what kind of aero upgrades we can do. Again, I don't want to go too flashy. See? There's Nissan over there. I, like, I knew there's interchangeable parts between that sun and the Nissan. Uh, we may add a front lip. I think that looks clean without giving too much away, so we'll do that. Uh, I don't think we're going to do the spoiler. Even though this looks really cool, we need to keep this kind of a sleeper look. And the rear bumper, ooh, yes, let's remove that. 
<laughs> this adds even more to that abandoned like look to the car man i'm already loving the way this car looks and i think the front lip actually kind of looks rugged okay it's not perfect it's kind of like plasticky and it's bubbly so yeah i think we are done with all of the upgrades we will take this thing on the highway by the way today uh so what i want to do now is dude oh let's review we don't even know oh my gosh <laughs> we went from 96 horsepower to 760 horsepower that is insane. That is massive. That is a lot more than most of the cars that I own. This is going to be an ultimate sleeper because it also weighs so low. Only at 1,900 pounds. That is crazy. We went from performance class D to performance class A. This car will fool a lot of people on the roads in Forza Horizon 5. So let me, before we go, we do need to get the rusted out look so let's go into designs and paints we're going to find the new designs and we'll see if there's anything that's rusty looking um, so basically you can kind of get like a lot of different looks for your vehicle and um, this is one of them right here for delivery dude rusted out look with factory wheels that looks kind of cool this also looks a little abandoned uh right th right there this is kind of cool but i don't like the shark teeth i mean i do don't get me wrong but people might think it's a fast car so i think these are all of the recommended ones so i'm thinking we're gonna go with the just the rusted out look which is right here that looks clean if I may say so myself. Let's go ahead and get that. We'll see what the car looks like. Dude, I'm excited, man. We're going to test it out. And we're definitely going to surprise a lot of people out on the street. Dude. This is going to be the ultimate sleeper. All right, you guys are ready? Here we go. Let's take a look at the exterior of this car. Hold on. Let me pull it out just a little bit. Oh, my gosh, dude. <laughs> the things we do on this channel, man. Would you think that this is a fast car? And I didn't put tinted windows on this vehicle on purpose just to kind of, you know, <laughs> not hide the fact that, you know, we're hiding something on the inside. But look at this. This is unbelievable. You would never think that this car has 700 horsepower. This is the definition of a true sleeper car. Actually, what I want to do is I want to take it on the highway. Let's go ahead and plan out our routes. So, and maybe we'll try and do some drifting as well. I'm thinking we're going to go on the highway here. And maybe, should we go towards this area? No, we're going to go towards this area here. There's a nice little uh, roundabout right around this area. So, we get to experience a little uh, back roads driving highway top speed run and then maybe a little bit of a drift uh towards the end so hope you guys are ready i know i am let's go ahead and see how this car performs <laughs> oh my gosh it sounds insane oh my god bro we're going to try and rip the handbrake in just a second. Oh my gosh, bro. <laughs> oh, never mind that. Dude. This thing does burnouts in like fourth gear? Oh my gosh, man. That is insane. That is such a scary car to drive. Oh my gosh, brakes, brakes, brakes! Oh! We have upgraded brakes, but even they struggle to stop this car in time. I'm, I'm thinking this thing will do all-wheel drive drift once we uh, get it to uh, that roundabout. Woo! Oh my goodness, dude. Turn right. I'm turning right. Kinda. Woo! 
Oh my gosh. Dude, that is an insane amount of power. Um, if this was your daily driver, good luck because it's so hard to daily drive a car like this with near nearly 800 horsepower. I mean, you could drive it nice and slow, but you know, who can do that? Who can resist all of this crazy power? All right, we're gonna be turning sharp left in the second, hopping on the highway. Here we go, guys. Wish me luck. Turn sharp left. Oh! My gosh, man, I'm not used to this car at all. So, <laughs> here we go. We're gonna do a top speed run on the highway in just a second. Oh, man. I'm excited. Here we go. Leave your guesses for the top speed in the comment section down below. We're gonna test it right now. Thinking it's gonna do 250 miles an hour. Here we go. Oh my gosh. I need to be extra careful, extra vigilant. This is the final gear, 182. Really, 185 I think is the top speed. There is no more gears. I mean, it got to 186. 186 is the top speed. It got to 186 really fast. But at the same time, <laughs> at the same time, I thought we'd be able to go faster. Wow. Okay. I mean, it's fine. Whoa! Whoa! Alright, well, let's do another pull. Like, look at this. It goes through all the gears so fast. And then it starts, like, drifting, man. Turn around oh, my gosh. Safe to do so. Sketchy car to drive. That's for sure. Alright, here we go. We're gonna try and do some all-wheel drive drifting. Oh, my gosh. What is going on? Forza, what are you doing to me? There's some kind of a storm here. Oh, no! This is not an easy car to drift in. By any means, man. Oh, yeah, look at this. A few moments later. You know what? Let's do some drag racing. All right, so I see that there's a festival drag strip not too far away from us. It says festival drag strip rookie. So, yeah, we're going to try and go there and we'll see how our vehicle competes against everybody else there. Oh. Look at this. We have all of these cars. You guys want to race? Woo! Peace out! <laughs> oh my gosh, man. We're gonna destroy people on the drag strip. Just spoiler alert. It's just going to happen. Uh, but, yeah. I'm excited to uh, do our first drag strip race with this vehicle. Dude, like the first four gears are literally useless because you're not getting any traction in this car and you're just going through them so fast, which is kind of insane to be honest. So yeah, the first four gears, completely useless. Fifth gear is almost like first gear and then you have <laughs> sixth gear and seventh gear. Uh, we're getting a little better at this. Oh! Spoken too soon. Here we go. We're bringing this rust bucket to a drag strip. People are gonna laugh, but it is what it is. We have to do this. We have to show off our creation here. Stop! Stop drifting! It just wants to go sideways. All right, we're here. Let's act civil. We're gonna make think, uh, make people think that this is a slow vehicle. All right, here we go. Let's go ahead and enter this event right here. Uh, versus rivals. I don't want to do it solo. Come on, I gotta 
I gotta impress some people. Alright guys, so I tried using this, uh, I tried racing against this car, but our vehicle just doesn't come up because it's not an S-Class. All of these cars are S-Classes. So, unfortunately, we have to race this car, but it's still going to be embarrassing for them. It's a Chevy Camaro, right? It looks really fast, but it's gonna be going up against our Datsun, uh, <laughs> my gosh, from 1970, all rusted out. So, yeah. Yeah, let's go ahead and see how we do against this vehicle. Yeah! Who thinks we're gonna win? Well, I mean, we have to shift perfect here in order to win this race. Let's go ahead and start this. Wish me luck. Woo! Go! 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 I'm being smoked by a truck? No way, hold on. We're coming back! We're coming back! Go! Oh my gosh, bro. We are flying. I think we're smoking everybody. Woo! We did it. Like I said, the first four gears are absolutely useless on this, uh, in this car. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> That's amazing. Let's collect the reward. We obviously beat this guy. He had no chance. But, oh, you know what we forgot to upgrade? The tires. I should have definitely upgraded the tires on this vehicle. Uh, that would have helped us with the grip <laughs> a little bit. But, yeah, I'll do that next time. Look at this. We just leveled up and everything. Yeah, guys. Let me know what you think about this new car. We got a free wheel spin. Uh, we'll get some of our money back uh, that we spent on this vehicle. All right, guys, and that is pretty much it. That's all I wanted to do today. I wanted to uh, find one of the slower cars in the game and made it look like a sleeper with a lot of horsepower. Let me know in the comment section down below. What do you guys think of this episode? Do you guys want to see more videos like this one? Maybe do drift setup or a drag, like an actual drag car setup uh, because this is just like a race car. And uh, yeah, I need to upgrade the tires on this one for sure. Anyways, guys, I'm going to end today's episode right here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, you guys already know what to do. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.